stayed there. Go. Right, today's video starts from here. We're in uh, Ljubljana, which is Slovenia, but you didn't know that, did you? I'm with uh, James Wiltshire and also Craig Salter. We're about to go to, um, I'm gonna show you some footage from high up in the skies very shortly. We're about to go to some hotel. We're here for a, I think it's like a travel conference. Uh, believe it or not, we're up on stage very shortly doing some Q&A. Video that Craig has edited will be up on the screen. And I'll take the camera all the way and uh, yeah take it on the same journey I'm on right now and then tomorrow yeah there is a bit of golf right so this is the 20th floor of the Intercontinental Hotel and it's a pretty decent spec from up here to be fair I hope the light is okay and I hope that is glass look at that bit of a spec I think see um, yeah is that my finger pointing at there's a castle up on the hill and I've got a feeling that's where we're going that's where this sort of conference is at um so yeah very nice right we've just arrived at the castle and uh actually i'll just switch it back there that's what we were looking at from back on the top of that hotel this is where we're going i don't know what uh i don't know what's to come it's lovely isn't it's it very nice, isn't it? <laughs> yes. what we're used to is a regular tuesday night mate or wednesday night oh, isn't it? in extra yeah oh yeah usually a cow shed but <laughs> this is better found our way in I have no idea what we're going into but you'll find out when I do we'll go in there I'll stick with you for a bit that's that big screen that's getting played on hi there you okay hi. I had no idea what we was letting ourselves in for and this is it and it looks cool I'm taking this camera up on that stage and we'll do the Q&A together tonight from the James Wiltshire, Andy Sullivan, and Chris Alvarez. So, just one question. What impressed you more in the Costa Rica? What impressed you more? Um, so for me, it was every area of sort of... We've got a lot of food. And the wine. I was going to add that on the wine. We had the odd night out as well. We'd have a little bit of a, a drink online. We had a few. Uh, yeah, school the next morning. <laughs> all part of the holiday and the, the golfing experience, I suppose. Uh, well, I'm challenging for me, I mean, most courses. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Um, so I think Powell's was probably like the hardest course for myself. That was good. So we've just arrived at Royal Bled Golf Club and we've given our little welcome pack. This place gives you the impression immediately as you're driving that this is going to be very, very special. And there are changing rooms and there are changing rooms. But come with me and have a look at this. So that's a locker room. First thing you do is to give your card with your name on. And that opens the door for the locker room. And then that's what you're met with in terms of Nice little place to relax and chill before you're round. So then we look for our locker, which, uh, as you can see, has our names on. And the next question was, how do we get in? Which, uh, again, is a pretty unique way of uh, finding your way into your locker. So watch this. How exciting is that to see a locker open with a key, a card rather. It's just, I think, got to be the nicest locker room I've ever been in. And we haven't been on the golf course yet. That is a no. 
Mate, you haven't been in a locker room like this down anywhere. Right, this is the other thing that you're given on arrival. So, just... so what, scorecard? Pack of tees, ball mark, pitch mark repairer, and course planner. I think you get the idea. Yeah, so this morning, um, you seen from last night's events that um, it was all, all came as a bit of a surprise in terms of what happened. Uh, it was a really good evening. They were all kind of people that are involved in golf, travel uh, and tourism. Um, so for us, yeah, it was a chance to sort of show what we do on YouTube and how it relates to uh, the golf travel markets. So something a bit different anyway, but uh, it was a really good evening. We went into Ljubljana, um, Old Town as they call it, and although it was dark, it was nice, you got a feel for the place. Castle perched down a hill, which we took some video from, and then you see down by the river, uh, it was really, really pretty. And, uh, but I'd not seen it in the daytime. But from what we've seen driving up here, um, to the golf course this morning, which is about half an hour's drive away. It's surrounded by the mountains, the Alps uh, are pretty much all around this place. And we've arrived at Royal Bled and wow, it's unbelievable. I mean, I can't believe I've got the opportunity to play some of these places of late, and this is absolutely unreal. Uh, just look at this. What a backdrop. We're just getting warmed up here. This is the kind of, uh, this is the um, driving range. And uh, that's a bit of an understatement to call it a driving range, to be fair. That's the clubhouse. And I'll take you out on a course. Some higher clubs today didn't bring clubs out with us. Um, but yeah, some places have the wow factor. And this certainly has. You've seen there in the locker room. How unreal was that? Looking delightful. Mr. Salter there, just Spanish hands. And uh, James Wiltshire with us again this morning. Uh, and Michael Birch, or Birchy, as we now call him. Ah, oh, wow. I think I might practice a bit more if I've seen that backdrop every morning. Uh, it's it, right, it's, yeah. Ah, oh, it's just seriously, it's proper. I hope, uh, I hope you're getting it from the camera that just how nice this place is. Anyway, I'll shut up and then we'll have a chat out uh, on the golf course. On the basis we've only got two golf balls each, you better play the first few holes fairly well. <laughs> Seriously, how good is this? Comment down below now before you haven't seen the course yet. How good is this? Bust. Right, look at this. This is the tenth hole. It is. I should have filmed it. Well, I've got some footage from the other side. I'm not sure how, uh, whether the camera was tall enough to show you, but it's a literal island green. It played uh, around 150 to the flag, and three of, three of us have dunked it in the water. And Michael has literally put it uh, pin eye, stiffed it. But you only need to be a yard longer, and he'd have, he'd have been joining us. It's like there's just no room for error. That's a great par three, that isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? Unbelievable. I'll show you where mine is. It's well, I'll try to anyway. But yeah, right. I've dunked mine. It only just went in. There was a splash right on the edge. So um, no, I'm not going to get it back, am I? 
Yeah, ball has disappeared, but yeah, look at that. So, uh, on 11th hole, I just want Michael, because we we need another opinion on this. How good is this golf club? What do you um, rate it? It's one of the best golf balls I've ever played. You've played a lot of golf courses, you? played a lot of golf courses. This is one of the best. I think it's got the best, it's the most stunning scenery and backdrop I've ever played with a golf course. But every hole has got some like real individual layout, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's, Very individual. It's unreal. <laughs> It is, isn't it? it, is, it I is. keep telling everybody, I'm keeping all you go wow when you get to the tee, but it that's is. exactly what you do. Yeah. The only thing that's just gone on on the tee, I've just gone a yard out of bounds, which I'm not too happy about. No. But there you go. One other quick point to mention is why didn't anybody tell me that I had a sticker on my cap for the first half of this commentary? I think everybody knew, they just let me carry on. Extra little touches, iced water on tea boxes. Right, camera back on, just trying to give you again just a feel for how this course is in terms of how well it's manicured. You can see the fringes, the aprons, pristine. But then a big thing about the golf course, big feature is the fall offs, the run offs. It's a real clever design. My ball, that's pitched there. A bit of backspin, a yard to the left, and you're back down into the, where a really difficult up and down, and that's pretty much the same on every hole. That's a real feature of the golf course. Still smiling, um, we're about to, this is the 15th that we've got behind us. Um, it's just been seriously so, so good. Um, it's always hard to say your best and your favorite courses, but this really is so nice, honestly, it ticks so many boxes. The interesting thing for me, and I want to tell you the price to play here because that must be a question you're asking. Um, I've just found out it's 150 euro. Now 150 euro is a lot of money to play around a golf, I know that. But in terms, in the scale of things, believe me, 150 euro to play this kind of quality of golf course is, is I can't say good value because I know, like I said, it is a lot of money. But when you compare it to other courses that charge over and above that, then this course is worth every bit of that 150 euro because you haven't, this is a day out from start to finish. And uh, we've got a few holes left to play, but <laughs> obviously my opinion ain't gonna change much. It's just unreal. Look at that. But you saw we had a game of match play. We've, uh, the match play's over, so just I'm just filming a bit of drone footage that hopefully, like I said, can do the place uh, a bit of justice and give you a better idea. And then a pan round and you look to that. And this is what you're doing all the time, every hole. You just, you, you look one way. They're the Alps, by the way. Uh, you've got the Alps in the backdrop. And then you've got this stunning scenery around the green. So I cannot honestly praise this course enough, as you can probably gather. Maybe I've got too much footage of this golf course, I don't know. I'm not sure there can be too much, but this video might go on a little bit. But this is a look down 17, par five. Water all down that left-hand side. I think this one features on the drone as well. Um, long, long green. Water literally comes into play first, second, third shots. And another belting golf hole at Royal Bled, this one. Right, I'm gonna finish things off here. Um, uh, that's the 18th, uh, back down to that view that never disappears. I'm not gonna say a lot in this one because like, I've probably spoke too much already. Unbelievable golf course. Um, great night last night, whole thing was very enjoyable. As ever, subscribe if you don't already, hit the like button, comments down below, any thoughts you've got on Royal Bled. I'm just gonna go and have something to eat, sit out there, and then catch a flight back home. <laughs>